So for this video, I'll be walking through a project where I created an object detection model that runs on an iOS app. Um, so to, to do that, first I had to uh, individually capture videos of uh, a set of playing cards. Um, so uh, you can see I have a link here that has a zip file of all of my individual playing card videos. Um, I'm not going to walk through this entire thing, but um, the, the general idea is that uh, I had to extract the uh, cards from the video. Then uh, I actually put them on top of a random set of backgrounds. Um, and as I go further down here, you can see that um, there, there's a lot in terms of being able to detect exactly where uh, I'd want to uh, create a bounding box around the area in question. Uh, but the ultimate result of this is uh, multiple scenes. So each scene has either one, two, or three cards in it uh, overlaid on top of random backgrounds and uh, bounding boxes that, that cover the um, the card in question. And um, the videos use different uh, levels of focus as well as different lighting conditions to, to try and simulate um, uh, different scenarios where we, we could potentially see playing cards. So once that was created, um, I, I tried a number of different uh, model options, but where I, I uh, finally landed was uh, with this Python library called Turi Create. Um, so in order to bring a model to use um, data within uh, images within this uh, data set, I have to create what's called an S frame. Um, so this notebook uh, walks through the creation of that file where I ultimately save out um, my, this uh, .s frame file. Um, and I, I move on to my next um, notebook here where I um, actually uh, create um, a model using Turi Create. Um, I make sure that it's going to utilize the, the GPUs and then um, I ran um, uh, 10,000 different iterations. Um, it took about uh, two hours or so to, uh, excuse me, four hours to actually uh, run the full thing, but then uh, save the model out to a, a .ml model. Um, you can see my precision results here, as well as a, a chart of those precision results here, but uh, in general, there uh, none dipped below the 80% mark and the average precision was uh, at 90%. Uh, so once I had that model, um, I used the, um, the breakfast finder uh, example that, that Apple provides to uh, kind of just swap out my um, my model for the model that, that came with that and then deployed it to my iPhone. I'll jump over to um, my uh, live demo to show what. All right, so I uh, loaded the app onto my phone and I will uh, point at some random cards that I've placed around my desktop. Um, so you can see pretty much immediately Gets that that's an ace. It also thinks that there may be another ace somewhere in there. Um, if I move on to the three cards, it quickly is able to detect um, those. You can see there's some flickering, but um, generally pretty accurate. Moving on to two cards that are pretty similar, a four and a five, uh, both of the uh, both of spades. Um, then moving on to three cards over here, you can see pretty quickly it's able to detect um, the correct card. It seems to have a little bit of trouble with the seven in terms of thinking that there's multiple things there. Um, we'll look up here at the, an ace and a four. Uh, again, pretty good while still keeping the other ones actually in, in view. And then finally, we'll move to a scene where there's uh, there's four cards. Um, so if you remember, I didn't train on any more than three cards and yet I can still pretty easily detect each of these four cards. Thanks for watching.